Hey guys, my name is Michael Valino here again here at JTEC here in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm here today to show you how to do an EVAC recharge on an AC system. Alright, before we get started, I apologize for the background noise. It's really hot outside and I got this fan going in the background. So before you do your EVAC and recharge, you need to hook up your high and low pressure sides. So then you go over to the machine, you see recycle, vacuum, and charge. The first thing you would want to do is you would hit recycle. Yes, to start it. Connect hoses, they're already connected, open valves. Recheck the valves. Yes, they are open. To start it. I'll come back when the screen changes. Now the recycling process is starting. As it, as it goes, this, this amount will increase. I'll come back when the recycling process is finished. Alright, so the, the process has officially begun. We went from zero, now we're at three. Occasionally, the low side gauge will jump up and down, so that it'll go down when it's starting to suck out more refrigerant, then it'll jump back out. So it's like suck, then release. Suck, then release. We're up to five ounces now, and I'll come back when the recycling process is finished. All right, so we're rounding down to the final, final 20 seconds of the recycling process. We were able to pull out 27 ounces of refrigerant from the system. Granted, when we when we charged the system the first time, we put 32 ounces into it. Now, the reason why we only, we were only able to get 27 back out is some gets still gets caught up in the accumulator and everything other parts. So we're gonna get a little bit of refrigerant loss. That's perfectly normal. So now the next step is going to the oil drain, and then we can hit vacuum. So when the oil drain is done, I'll come back and do the start the vacuum process. All right, we're back here. The oil drain process is done. We're ready to we're ready to start the vacuum process. Once you hit the vacuum button, it will it'll show up as a time that you want. Usually you want it between 30 and 45 minutes. So I'm going to hit continue, form leak test, yes, and then the vacuum process starts. I will come back when this is over, see you in a minute. While this is going, this is what this is going to do is it's going to take all the moisture out of the system. And what you want to see is this, you see this number right here, level 25A INHG. The ideal numbers that you want to see for this is between 28 and, and 30. You, usually you'll never hit a true 30, so you want to hit anywhere between 29.5 and 29.9. Alright, the vacuum process is done. Now it's time to recharge. You enter the amount that you want to recharge, so I, I put it at 25 ounces. So now you hit recharge. Yes. Tag, continue, both, purging process, right, now the charging sequence has started, you can see here, as this increases that's how many ounces of refrigerant is going back into your system. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you feedback and recharge an AC system. Thank you for watching, tune in next time.